Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch. Today we're going to be looking at the Market of Light. Now this is a just released, I guess we'll call it a tech demo of Unreal Engine 5. This was Historia Inc., a Japanese game developer, kind of did this as a proof of concept exploration of Unreal Engine 5's capabilities. It's available up on Steam. It is a free download. I do have to warn you, it's a big download, especially for what you get. This is a 25 gigabyte download you're about to see in action. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch things over to play in full HD, and let us press any key other than F to start the game, which is kind of ironic. So what you're seeing here is just sort of a simple world environment uh, created to showcase and using the capabilities of Unreal Engine 5. The two big ones there are Nanites and Lumens. Now, Lumens is a real-time global illumination system, so what you're seeing in the background in terms of the lighting, that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Lumens. Now, the Nanite is basically a really powerful LOD system. What it basically allows you to do, and we're going to get really close to a couple things in just a few minutes, but what it allows you to do is use almost unlimited polygon budget. So this scene that you're seeing in front of you is being rendered using millions upon millions of polygons. There's a write-up of this on the Epic blog. We're going to look at that in just a second to get some of the technical details here. But what they did is they used production film quality assets that they purchased and an environment with like a half a billion polygons. And they basically let Unreal Engine 5 take care of the actual LOD generation. Uh, so you're not actually seeing a half a billion polygons right now, but what they used in Unreal Engine itself had millions upon millions upon millions of polygons and you can see the results actually look pretty solid. Now this isn't much of a game itself. Here you're basically just flying this bug around the scene collecting these gems and stones but let's get close to something here and you can see the levels of detail as we move in. Another thing that this showcases is um, it's using uh, Quixel Megascans assets for a lot of this um, which by the way if you are using Unreal Engine for um, 4 or 5 uh, you can actually use those for free. But let's go take a look at this, this stonework here. Unfortunately, there's an invisible wall here, so we can't fly through that. Uh, but you get an idea of the level of detail in this particular world. You can see, obviously, the real-time lighting. That is uh, Lumens in action, a global illumination system. Um, and, yeah, let's go take a look at some of the fruit here on this truck. And, again, you're going to see millions upon millions upon millions of polygons. And then as you get closer... It's basically switching over to um, the higher, higher, higher resolution versions. Same with pretty much everything you're seeing in the world itself. Super high resolution. Um, so yeah, this is kind of showcasing what Unreal Engine 5 is supposed to be all about. And if we go over to the blog in a minute, uh, we're going to see what the developer experience was, what kind of things they used here. Um, but yeah, this is a kind of a tech demo showcasing... Uh, UE5, the Nanites, the Lumens, etc. If you're wondering about performance, well, it's not ultra amazingly stellar, uh, but this is running on my uh, 2070 mobile uh, powered laptop, uh, 32 gigs of RAM. It's a decent machine on the whole, but not, you know, it's not a monster of a machine. Uh, but it's really the, uh, I wish there was a reverse so I could go back and show you the graining in that bread. Because uh, quite frankly, the, the resolution as you zoom in on things, it's pretty staggering. Um, in some areas. Of course, let's go look at this balcony and see if we can get all the way up there. I'm going to fly through this potted plant. Nope. Invisible wall. All right. So we're not going to go see that, but let's go see something quick and then we're going to exit out. Oh, that flower. We'll go, we'll go zoom in on that flower pot here. All right. So here we go. Closer, 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 and in. So yeah, th there's a pretty staggering level of detail on the whole and that is the future that uh, nanite is promising us so i'm gonna hit the escape key and yes to exit out so if you want to grab this guy again it is available on steam again 25 gigabyte download so it's not something that you can get lightly and the fact that uh, this single market scene takes up 25 gigabytes with no real gameplay there well, that's the other thing we can look forward to in our future of gaming is game sizes are going to be absolutely and utterly obscene going forward. Um, but yeah, 25 gigabytes in size uh, recommends at least a 1070 with 8 gigabytes of RAM. So pretty modern GPU required, but uh, nothing overwhelming, I suppose. So yeah, that is available up on Steam if you are interested. Head on over. There is a blog post up uh, kind of discussing it a little bit about Historia themselves um, 
so they develop console games and enterprise games uh, for the non-gaming industry uh, using Unreal Engine. They're an Unreal Engine-focused developer, and it's one of the first playable tech demos. The other one was that Matrix one that kind of, it was console only, so I couldn't show it to you, uh, but it was pretty mind-blowing, the capabilities of it as well. Um, it was developed by a small course team of seven from the Japanese studio Historica. Um, it uses Nanite and Lumens, as we've mentioned many times already. It is available for free on Steam. And you can get into um, some of the technical details behind this. So the market we just saw consists of about 4.9 billion polygons, 253 8K textures, plus 1,000 4K textures. Uh, yeah, so that's that's what we just saw in action. And that's why this is 25 gigabytes in size. Um so it's basically, again, they wanted to see how Nanite and Lumens would change production going forward. Um, and uh, they got some of the assets, again, from Quixel Mega Scans in the Unreal Marketplace. So 90% of the fruits were from Mega Scans. Half the games was from Mega Scans overall. They used a couple of assets from the Unreal Engine Marketplace. And then the thing that I found kind of interesting is uh, they also mentioned that they pulled in assets directly from uh, film productions, uh, so motion picture ready assets. And thanks to Nanite's, um, you know, working on it, it managed to pull down uh, the, the level of detail into something usable. But it will allow you to use those super high resolution motion picture ready stuff and have, you know, Unreal Engine take care of the details for you. Um, you also get a bit about how they work for Lumens on this one. Uh, day to night transitions, uh, working with lumens, the functionality behind it, uh, the particle effects. You only saw those with the, the crystals that I didn't bother going for. Those were created using Niagara. And then again, back to the whole nanite thing. Um, so I think this is where they, they talked about um, motion picture assets, but okay, art flow. So they, they did most of their modeling in Maya and ZBrush. Uh, they use Quixel Bridge. They use the modeling tool Deformer, which I may check out specifically on in more depth in a future video. It's one of those things that I intend to, to talk about. But um, yeah, they, again, being able to use uh, motion picture quality assets in here is pretty impressive. And yeah, that is kind of the write-up of it. Again, I mentioned earlier on, uh, there was also the uh, Matrix Awakened uh, Unreal Engine 5 experience. Uh, this was re released way back in December. Uh, but again, it was only on the uh, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S for downloads. I don't know why they didn't do a uh, PC release. And, you know, now the fact that everybody thinks The Matrix Awakens was absolutely and utterly trash, uh, maybe it lost a little bit of its luster. But if you want to go ahead and check something out, uh, this one is definitely worth checking out. And again, Unreal Engine 5 is available in early access. Um, it's also available for Mac, but Mac does not have Nanite support. So if you're looking to check out all this sexy new Nanite-ness, uh, yeah, you're going to need to uh, be running on a PC. Or you can just go ahead and download the Market of Light again. It's uh, a tech demo showcasing Unreal Engine 5's capabilities. It's it's impressive. It's not that fun, uh, but it is definitely impressive. So let me know what you think of Market of Light. What do you think of Unreal Engine 5, Nanites, and Lumens? Do you think it's like overhyped? Because if you want to really break it down into simple terms, you could just say Nanites is just an LOD system and Lumens is real-time global illumination. Done. It's just marketing gimmick. But other people could say, no, no, this is revolutionary and going to change the way things work. And I think the reality is probably somewhere in the middle. But I'd love to hear what your opinion is in the comments down below. And I shall talk to you all later. Goodbye.